at the peak of your career in the UFC, Hicks and Gracie said that you were no match for him because you were not strong enough. I never heard you respond to that. Uh, well, I mean, that's just him playing his role. I mean, he knows better. I, I've heard other, I've heard other people say that Hicks and Gracie, when asked about me, I heard, I've heard other stories where Hicks and Gracie said he would, he didn't know what he would actually, he didn't know how he would handle me. And, and so who knows what to believe? Uh, probably that time he was in, he had his kayfabe on his pro wrestling look on. So he's got to say that. But I, I've heard other stories where he had no idea what he would actually do with me in there. So how so do you think the fight it, between you two would have hey, I'm a different person now, man. I'm, I'm a changed man, and that don't bother me in the least. How do you think a fight between the two of you would have went? Well, I tell you what, man. Um, I probably would have stayed on my feet with the guy and did fought him like I did uh, Akira Soji. I would have stayed on my feet, and I would have, I would have fucking probably knocked him out on my feet. And uh, if we did go to the ground, hey, I'm not hey, that that guy is hey he is 400 0 for a reason. He's the only, he's the legitimately only 400 0 guy. And nobody denies that he's a bad ass slick fucking Brazilian back belt. And I I'm sure I would have I'm sure I would have went over it for a long time. I would not have stepped in there and fought him without going over everything for for a long time. I wouldn't have been that stupid, but. Um, with headbutts, I, it, it just—I just would have been too big, too strong, too powerful. But hey, there, there's always a chance that he could have got slick and got into something, man. Because he—he's he, a bad dude. I got nothing. Where we